Okay, folks, so I'm just going to do a little quick session for, um, it's going to be um, the keys of um, what we call the complete golfer. Right, I'm just going to tap into these little keys and just make sure I can hit several different windows, okay? So if you've already purchased the complete golfer series, you know exactly what I'm talking about, all right? So here we go. We're looking for consistency. Set the ball right there. All right, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna amp it up a little by a little, little fade shot, and I'll get up to 160, 170 yards. Club path a little bit left. All right, because I'm swinging out to be in. That's what I'm working on today. Good ball right there. Amped it up just a little bit, 96 miles per hour. And that's what I'm looking for, a sustainable speed. A little pure shot, they call it pure. Backspin looks good. There you go, 1.5. Face the path, 1.5. So in track, man, we call it what? Plus 1.5, right? Swing it out to be in. So what am I looking for, coach? I'm looking for a sustainable speed where, like I said, if you can go out and you can hit a club at 90, 100, 120, that's really not going to do you any good. What you're looking for is sustainable speed. Can you have a consistent speed? All right, so here we go again. Deal right there. Carry was nice. Distance is nice. Stand was really good. Ball speed is good. Club speed is good. Smash factor is really good for our iron. 1.35. Vertical launch is good. Attack angle is really nice. Negative dip. 1.07. Now I would like to get that attack angle to like a negative three, negative four. All right, that's my goal. So what I do, I put a little bit more pressure on the target side. Lost my balance on that one. I, instead of taking one aspen, I took the whole bottle. All right. So like the attack angle gonna be better though. Not a bad miss. Face the path. Not bad. Even though my misses was really good. There go attack angle negative 2.25. Alright, let's try that again. This time let's actually don't try to kill it. Right here. Complete golf first set up. There she go. All right, so that should be good. So this is how you do it, you're just working on a certain box, right? So I'm just working on a tack angle right now. Face to path is terrible. Impact was terrible. Okay, attack angle, minus 2.8. I'm getting close to where I wanna be. All right, let's hit another one. And this time we're gonna put it all together. We're gonna swing out to the end. That's a golf shot right there, buddy. Beautiful. Beautiful. I think I put it all together on that one. A little draw, nice shot. Vertical line, 20.28. All right. Tack angle, there we go. Okay, so we got that tack angle where I wanted it. I had a little plus attack angle, and now I'm in a better position. I have the negative attack angle. Now I've never played with a six, seven, eight percent attack angle. You know, um, if I get mines between three and four, I'm good to go. 
Let's do it again, but I'll put that ball back in my stand just a little bit. Too much. All right, so what are you going to do on that one? You throw that out as an outlier. They didn't even call it the shot wrong. They said it was a hook. They didn't even call it the shot wrong. They said it was a hook. I have to clean the lens off. The lens is not picking up right. All right, so let's go into our complete golfer. Boom. Go right there. That's beautiful. The ball started out to the right. It drew back around just like I like it. Speed is 94 again. Nice little draw. Impact is a little bit still out toward the toe. Attack angle is still negative. Okay, last one. We have two more. All right? Swinging way um, in the out right now. That's what I'm working on. You know? Now we're going to straighten it all out. Should turn back around toward the hole right now. There you go. That's the shot I'm playing. A little bit of an open face draw. Open to what? Face is open to the target. And you can see it right there. Face is plus 9.5 to the target. And that's that open face draw. So I only have one really bad ball out there. That outlier. I call it the Arnold Palmer ball. You know how Arnold Palmer will hit that shot sometimes and just be make you feel like he was one of us, right? All right, all the rest of the balls are pretty much right where I'm going. Okay, here we go again. Open it up. We got all the principles in here. Oh, great. Add principle three. There she go. Just by adding principle three, look at them balls. All of them landing right in the same zone. Well, what is principle three, coach? Well, just join the series and you'll see. You know, and you'll be able to start understanding why your ball is doing the things that it's doing. Look at that impact, it's terrible. So what does that tell me? That I'm losing a little bit of posture, right? 